Now, like, uh, I don't know, day 23 um, probably was the rough time. Like, that's when I was like, bro, take a break. And I think I took a two-day break. And it was like, man, I wanted to take a three-day break so bad. And then I had to re-motivate myself. You see, it all takes motivation. Like, if you see someone skinny turns to someone buff, like, you'll probably see this thumbnail and you're like, oh, damn, there's motivation. But anyway, um, you, or you see someone fat and then they turn skinny or they, and they motivated to seven, they did it. So it makes you feel like you could do it too. And you can do it. It's just all about your self-discipline. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, so this is what I'm happening. So, I saw a video. It motivated me. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm like, dude, I'm tired of being skinny. I just wanna... You know, just be on my stuff, and I'm in the best shape of my life today. Um, you know, it just took a lot of hard work and education. But, um, because I would see these chips or something, I'm like, oh man, I love chips. I remember I love chips. And guess what? Nope, you can't have them. It's 10 grams fat, set fat. And you don't really want that, you know, especially if you're trying to bodybuild or something. So then what do we what else do we got? Um that's tempting, like ice cream and stuff like that. You gotta look out for the labels. Maybe you could get some good stuff, you know. I was looking for some veggie chips and they don't have those. So I was like fudge. No veggie chips for your boy. 
So, what else do we got? Um, peanut butters. I got this random peanut butter. Um, it was like, I think it was kind of expensive, but it's okay because it was like the less sad fat. When I go to the gym, guys, I go to the gym, right? Um, I already opened this, but shout outs to CBD5 today. Uh, I want to talk about this because, um, real quick. So, you ever go to the gym and you smell like, you know, gas? Like, that's my main problem when I work out. It's like a feeling I get. Like, I'm like, dude, what if I'm working out and somebody smells me? It's something smells like weed in that back part of the library. No one has located the source of the weed smell, but witnesses say that it seems to come from that area. And they're like, dude, this guy smells like weed. Or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in that kind of genre, what I say genre, um, in that kind of category, you know what I'm saying? So, basically... What I, did, what I started doing, you know, like, because I like to go to the gym and I like to be lifted, you know, of course. Or I don't like to be sober and or wait to get sober or do none of that stuff. So what I do is I either take a shower before I go to the gym or I'll just spray like some cologne or whatever. And on the way to the gym, you know, I'll smoke a dab pen. So we got the CBD5, guys. Um, shout out to CBD5. But let me explain to you all about the CBD5. So... I wasn't, you know, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't too hyped about the CBD5 at first until I got it. And that's the thing. So I, I really appreciate the CBD5 for the experience. So let me explain y'all, explain something to y'all. So the last video we had a battery, you know what I'm saying? I even went and bought a $20 battery um, from a regular shop or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So boom, roughly about $20, uh, this battery right here. Now, I bought this battery, and I'm telling you, I was using it, using it, using it, using it, and it was trash, yo, trash as heck. So, let me explain to y'all. So, we got this fake cart, or whatever y'all want to call it, I guess, um, you know. But anyway, because uh, they say cart's supposed to be light, and this is, like, kind of dark, but I don't even care. It's just for the video purpose, you know what I'm saying? But you could even smoke CBD out of this, you know what I'm saying? It's the same, like, you don't have to smoke what I'm smoking on. It's just the battery concept. So let me turn this on. I'm gonna click this five times. Y'all can see it's good. One, two, three. We're gonna turn on red because the red is the highest. There you go. Y'all can see it's on red, right? Now check this out. Bro, like literally nothing just happened. And I just bought this battery too. Like, real talk. Literally, y'all saw that. Okay? Then that's why I was like, bro, I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? And that those are kind of like the brass knuckles right there. Cause I've had the brass knuckles and it's the same thing. Like they they have problems. Now this one, I put this one in. Look, it has the rainbow finish, guys. If y'all like that, that's it looks awesome, you know what I'm saying? Uh rainbow colors are trending right now. But boom, I put this one on. There we go, it's on red, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if it blinked yet, but I already felt that. <laughs> y'all can see there's a <coughs> big difference like like <coughs> huge difference but like look it also comes with your own fillable um stuff i guess you could put your own cbd stuff in this one also in this thing right here or you could put any oils you prefer you know you know you could even take this thing out and put it in here that way um at the end of the day you know, it's still, it's all Gucci, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to CBD5, guys. This is the must if you want it. Um, it's roughly $40, and that's, I think, with tax and everything. But I'm going to tell you right now, guys, I paid 20 bucks for this piece of crap, and it's already broken. Like, it's not even good at all. Like, it's really trash. It's very, very trash. And I must say, if you want something to last you long and stuff like that and be reliable... This thing right here is one of the best things I've had since I've got introduced to these dabs, guys. This battery right here. Now, that's as far as for these dab pins. You know